hello crafters it's chloe from chloe's creative cards and today i am really excited to be showing you our brand new box kit number 15. now we know that you guys at home count down to these box kits being released and we know how much you love them as always, they are amazing value. You get a fabulous inspirational magazine in there, along with lots of goodies to be crafting with at home. So for this edition, which is our springtime one, we have got a beautiful fairy themed crafting kit. So we've got magical fairies in there. We've got beautiful floral elements and you can see the kind of projects that you're going to be able to create. Now, these have literally just landed in our warehouse. So I thought it'd be really nice to do a little unboxing with you all. So this is your box kit. So this is the box that it's going to come in. And you can see you've got your volume 15 there. We've got a beautiful cover card from Glynis. And then you can see the different elements that you are getting inside your pack. So as always, you were getting a stamp plate, a die set, a six by six stencil, an A6 embossing folder, and some beautiful patterned papers and toppers as well. If I flip over the box, you can see you've got a little sneak peek as to what's inside. So we've got some beautiful floral creations. We've got a gorgeous stamping stamp along in there. We've got some beautiful stencil designs. We've got a focus on glitter. We've got some lovely shaped cards and we've got some die cutting techniques in there as well. So you're going to be able to use this in lots of different ways. So if we split the top of the box open here, I've got my scissors to hand. This is so exciting. This is the first time I've actually seen it too. So this is exciting. So if we flip that round and we open up the box, look at the goodies that you have got inside. So let's have a little focus on the, on the little bits and pieces that you get inside first. So I'll take these out of the packaging and yeah, you can see exactly what we've got here. So we've got a beautiful um, little die here, which is a little fairy design. And then you've got some little floral elements as well. So these little floral pieces are perfect for layering up on one of the stamps. I'm going to see if I can just open the plastic just so then you can have a little look because I know it gets a little bit reflective sometimes. There we go. So that is your little fairy die and you can see it's beautiful. Really nice and detailed in the wings. We've left the middle bit open so you can ink through it if you want to. And then you've got these tiny little flowers that of course you can be holding in a hand or you can use that with one of the designs from the stamp plate as well. So that's the first part. That's your little fairy metal die set. Next up, we've got a beautiful embossing folder. So let me open this one up here. And again, you don't just have to use this with the fairy theme. You could be using this one for lots of different occasions. So you've got a lovely kind of like little, um, little meadow kind of theme really with this one. So beautiful foliage design, a gorgeous swirl in the corner. So you could just be adding a sentiment onto here if you wanted to. And that's going to emboss your lovely um, paper and card as well. So that's your A6 embossing folder. Next up, this one is stunning. We've got a six by six stencil. So again, I'm going to open this up so you can see exactly what you're getting in here because the stencil is fabulous. It looks amazing inked through or you can use your beautiful um, your pastes and your glittery pastes and things through it as well. It looks amazing. So this is your stencil design here. So it's six by six in size and you can see how you've got all of the different flowers. You've got foliage in here and you've got beautiful butterflies as well. So that's your stencil that you are getting within the kit. And then you've also got a 23 piece stamp set. So the stamp sets are a little bit larger than they used to be, which is fabulous. We'll take all of that value. <laughs> Gives us so much more versatility. So you can see the beautiful stamp set that you've got in here. So we've got a lovely little fairy where you can be glittering those wings. We've got some beautiful floral designs. We've got a toadstool. This is the flower that you can be using. The little tiny flowers from the die to layer up over the top. We've got some flowers that you can be creating 3D flowers with, like little buds as well. We've got some foliage in there and we've got some sentiments as well. So you've got have a magical day, birthday wishes on your special day, happy birthday. So this is going to be perfect for you, all of your different occasions that you've got coming up. You've got a really cute little bees on here too and some little magical kind of fairy sparkles. 
which you are going to be able to use in lots of different ways. So you are getting your lovely stamp set. You are also getting your beautiful A6 embossing folder. You are getting your little fairy die set. And you're getting your 6x6 six six stencil, which is beautiful. So if I pop those to one side and bring in the magazine, in the middle of your magazine, you have lots of beautiful printed papers. And these are stunning. So you've got papers in here and you've got toppers. And these are lovely, vibrant, spring-like colours. So you can see how you're going to be able to cut these out. Use the tags, use the little sentiments, use all of those patterned paper elements with your, with your kit to really get the most out of it. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, of course, you've got lots of projects in here too. So I'll have a little flick through just to show you. So you've got some from Glynis in here. You have, of course, got projects from Mel Jess as well, who's done this amazing fairy tree house. You've got projects from myself in here, projects from Rebecca. There are some projects from the Practical Publishing Design team. This is a little sneak peek at some of the brand new stamps and dies that are coming your way very soon. We've got some projects in here from Christine as well. Really beautiful. So you can see the kind of things that you're going to be able to create with this magazine. So it's jam-packed with inspiration. So you've got lots of ideas as soon as you get this home as well. So we've got some lovely vibrant cards and we've got some kind of more subtle ones as well. So if I grab in, I've got oh, there's some of your makes featured in there. I'm going to keep that as a little surprise. There we go. So in the cover here, it's telling you exactly what you've got going on. So you've got a beginner's guide. You've got embossing folder techniques. You've got a focus on the fairies. You've got some in-depth makes. You've got a stamping spotlight. You've got some clean and simple cards. And it, honestly, it's just beautiful. So you can see here, this tells you exactly what you've got in your box, gives you some ideas as to what you can be doing with it all. And then we're straight into the project. So you've got some gorgeous cards from Becca. Honestly, it's just absolutely beautiful. So when you flick through, there are so many different ideas in here, but I've actually got the project, so I'm going to show you them in the flesh, so to speak. So I've pulled out a little selection just to kind of give you an idea of what you're going to be able to create. So this one is the Stamp Along project. So I take you through this in depth and we'll have a PDF on our website as well that you can download with really detailed instructions. And then we've got a gorgeous one here showing the fairy on the corner looking over the stencil design using the stamps to build the scenes i love this card that becca's created it's so pretty and delicate and then using some of the floral elements the next one is one of christine's and you can see how she's used the stamp along with some of our gorgeous new vellum that's coming soon so as always in our box kit you were getting a little sneak peek at some new goodies that are coming as well this is one of Glynis's, so you can see all the vibrant colours, how you can really decoupage this up, give it that 3D effect. Absolutely gorgeous. Mixing and matching using the embossing folder and the stamp together. Using just the embossing folder as well works really, really well, glittering that up. The stencil inked and then glittered looks amazing. We've got some cards featuring the little toadstool as well. We have gone to town with all of the bling and the sparkle on these projects to make them look absolutely magical. We've got some shaker cards as well, which are really lovely. We've got lots of so many ideas. Just focusing on some of the floral elements as well. Maybe you're not as keen on the fairies, but the flowers within the kit are equally as beautiful and usable. So using, I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but we've used the little die to layer up some of the flowers on there. Using some of the other floral elements to layer up. You can really go to town with these, or you can do them a little bit simpler as well. Lovely little thinking of you card there. And then this one here, layering up all of those beautiful flowers, adding that little fairy on there too. Super cute using the toadstool in with them. Honestly, so many ideas. So this is just a little sneak peek at what is included within your fabulous box kit. So the magazine will be available to pre-order. Oh, look at this, this is an easel card. Wow, look at that. That is just stunning, isn't it? So the magazine box kit will be available to pre-order from chloescreativecards.co.uk from nine o'clock on the 4th of April. 
Now, as always, we offer you the box kit on its own with the elements that I've just shown you. So you'll get your magazine, you'll get your stamp plate, you'll get your stencil, your embossing folder and your die. And of course, all of those beautiful papers in the magazine as well. So if we pop that back in, so you can get the box kit on its own if you like, which is that one there. Or for the first time ever, we've done an extra little limited edition die. So the limited edition die is this beautiful dancing fairy. And if I open this one up, you can see, honestly, it looks amazing, Lerdo. So if we take this out of the packet, you can see it's a really nice large size fairy, really pretty. But then when you die cut this out and layer up the wings, look at how you can bring that to life. So we have the two options of the box kit on its own or the box kit with the extra limited edition die. And the die will only be available with the box kit. You can't buy it on its own. So if you want to go for that, you need to go for the bundle together. So that is a Chloe's Creative Cards box kit 15. Now, not only have we got this launching for pre-order on the 4th of April, we had to do a cheeky little extra stamp and die set as well. And I think you are going to love this one. So this is the Magical Fairy stamp and die set. And it is absolutely stunning. If I open this up, you can see you've got your gorgeous fairy stamp. So you can see all of the detail in there. And you've got the matching die. So we're going to be able to use this in lots of different ways. It's more of a silhouette style design. So I'll show you a little idea of what you can be making with this. So this is the one that's from the front of the packaging. Isn't it absolutely stunning? So that's a little introduction to Chloe's Creative Cards Box Kit 15, which of course you can shop online at www.chloe'screativecards.co.uk.